Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today I'm going to be bringing to you uh, four new Phoebus watches. It is the uh, the Eagle Ray again. Um, there's a couple of different Eagle Rays that I've done on the channel and in the store. Uh, these are four new ones uh, that retain the same case shape, uh, but now have really cool uh, ombre dials, which means they kind of fade from one color into another. So we will head on over and check those out. I am sporting still the White Dial Islander and the Flightmaster on my homemade Seiko mesh. I did a video about this one, about a mesh that you can get for it uh, this past weekend. Uh, of course, the bracelet sold out rather quickly. I have more on order. I can never tell how popular things are going to be, so it always amazes me, the power of video. Anyway, let's check out these cool new uh, Eagle Rays. Okay, so we are getting into the uh, Phoebus Eagle Ray uh, with the ombre dials. Three of them have ombre dials. One of them is just a, a, a straight black dial. Uh, it is an automatic dive style watch with uh, 300 meters of water resistance. And being a Phoebus, you know it's going to deliver excellent value. Uh, meaning, value sometimes people can interpret as cheap, but what I'm going to tell you is for the money that you pay, you get a watch that far exceeds what you might expect. Uh, so we are looking at 41 millimeters in diameter, about 13.2 thick to a double domed AR sapphire crystal. Okay, 47 millimeters lug tip to lug tip, so it does fit uh, quite a, a bit smaller than most dive watches of the same uh, case size. It is a 20 millimeter lug. Okay, it does run on a Seiko NH35 movement. So that will hand wind and hack, date at six. Uh, so screw down crown right for 300 meters of water resistance. Unscrew the crown, which has excellent, excellent um, patterning to it to make it very easy to spin, as you can see with my glove, one finger. Really grips nicely, little detail on the crown. So hand winds, 40 hours of power reserve on a full wind, uh, 24 joule movement. Hacks, pull out the crown at the time, the second hand stops, I can change the time. One click out, I can change the date. Whoops, there it goes. Okay. Wind and then push in and turn to secure, secure it down for your 300 meters of water resistance. Comes on a nice solid link bracelet with screws. Uh, it is a, a multi-link bracelet. We have five links going across brushed and polished accents pretty cool clasp no uh, flip lock just a just a uh, double push button deployant with three positions of micro adjust uh, there is no divers extension right no sometimes I mess that up no divers extension I feel like they could have used a uh, flip lock on here coming through to the other side um, I don't know it's pretty much it we've got a 120 click beautiful unidirectional ratcheting bezel and the way they do the edge pattern on the bezel it's super easy to grab that sawtooth pattern very satisfying and very nice it is a ceramic insert and we cut out the lights we'll I guess, did i get it right i'm not sure we'll see how she lights up uh, and then it's got bgw9 super loom everywhere uh, hands indices and the and the bezel markings so you know it's gonna glow well so uh, PY025 is the model number A B C and D uh, they are all the same price at $299 so we have the green to black we have what might be one of my favorites uh, the burgundy to black or red to black almost gives the appearance of fire uh, something like a forest fire not that that's a good appearance I uh, just think that looks really cool. Excellent colorway. I apologize for the reflections. Um, really, double domes play havoc in, in, in the lighting studio. There. Uh, and of course, we have to have a blue, right? Here's a blue one. See the blue that fades into a black. Okay. Nice. And then, of course, the all black version. Okay, um, what I'll do is I will flip out the lights and then we will certainly try it on. So there she glows. You can see the BGW9 on the hands, the markers, the bezel, everything looks great. It's certainly blue because here is my island. I like doing this next to it so you can get an idea. You know, sometimes when you look at this just without a reference, this might appear like to be a bluish green, maybe even some green. But then when you look at something like this, like, oh, well, this is really green. Okay, so this is uh, B2 
BGW9, nice blue super loom, extremely easy to read. And then of course we'll top it off with a nice uh, wrist shot, six and three quarter inch wrist below, above, it does not matter. Uh, it's a great size, 41 millimeter. The lug to lug is perfect for me at 47. Looks great, fits great, feels great. And the dial colors are just really, really cool. And before we close it up, I do want to just highlight here that the clasp, though when, you, when I opened it quickly, it might have appeared to have been just a junk folded clasp, but it's actually not. It's, look at that. It's got substantial thickness to it, okay? And there's a pocket milled for the extender part to go in. So pretty cool that they did that. It looks kind of a different kind of clasp. Usually the mill scissor clasps, uh, the inside is hollow, but here they chose just to do it in relief. I don't know. Kind of nifty. I guess that'll do it. Let's get the other green one in here, right? Uh, so, oh, how about the red one, too? We'll leave the, the plain black dial alone because it doesn't have that cool fading appearance of color. This has been Mark from LongOutWatch.com showing you the new uh, Phoebus Eagle Ray watches. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.